Like a sea without a shore, love divine is boundless. Time is now and evermore, and his love surrounds us. Maranatha, 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 come Lord Jesus, come. So that we could all be free, he appeared among us. Blessed are those who have not seen, yet believe his promise. Maranatha, 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 come Lord Jesus, come. Good morning everyone, Good morning. and welcome to our celebration on this Wednesday of the, our second week of Advent. And as we continue our journey that will take us to Bethlehem, to a stable, to good news, to revelation. Let's prepare ourselves to celebrate in faith. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. We call to mind our brokenness, our sinfulness, remembering that God is the God of mercy and love and compassion. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. And you bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ, have mercy. And you heal the wounds of sin and division among us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us all to everlasting life. Let us pray. Almighty God, who command us to prepare the way for Christ the Lord, grant in your kindness that no infirmity may weary us as we long for the comforting presence of our heavenly physician. He who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. To whom could you liken me, and who could be my equals, says the Holy One? Lift your eyes and look. Who made these stars, if not he who drills them like an army, calling each one by name? So mighty is his power, so great his strength, that not one fails to answer. How can you say, Jacob, how can you insist, Israel, my destiny is hidden from the Lord. My rights are ignored by my God. Did you not know? Have you not heard? The Lord is an everlasting Lord. He created the boundaries of the earth. He does not grow tired or weary. His understanding is beyond fathoming. He gives strength to the wearied. He strengthens the powerless. Young men may grow tired and weary. Youths may stumble. But those who hope in the Lord renew their strength. They put out wings like eagles. They run and do not grow weary, walk and never tire. The word of the Lord. My soul give thanks to the Lord. My soul give thanks to the Lord. All my being bless his holy name. My soul give thanks to the Lord and never forget all his blessings. It is he who forgives all your guilt, who heals every one of your ills, who redeems your life from the grave, who crowns you with love and compassion. The Lord is compassion and love, slow to anger and rich in mercy. He does not treat us according to our sins, nor repay us according to our faults. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia. Behold, our Lord will come with power and will enlighten the eyes of his servants. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus exclaimed, Come to me, all you who labor and are overburdened, and I will give you rest. Shoulder my yoke and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. Yes, my yoke is easy and my burden light. 
the gospel of the Lord. During this pandemic, a lot of us have discovered that the energy that we once had, we no longer have. There's a source of tiredness and weariness, and this can be very frustrating for a lot of people. In our first reading today, I say acknowledges that even young men may grow tired and weary, and that youths may stumble, he says. You know? There is a thing called weariness. It's weariness of the spirit which can affect any of us at any age. And I say in that first reading this morning, you know, would say that the Lord who is coming will come and address and deal with that kind of weariness of spirit. He's the one who will give strength, he says, to the weary. He will give strength. He will strengthen the powerless. That's because the Lord doesn't grow weary. He's the Lord of life. He's the Lord of life who remains vibrant always. And when we turn to him with our weakness, with our frustration, with our tiredness, you know, we can maybe get some of that life from him. And that's the promise that Jesus would give us in the gospel reading when he invites us, come to me, he says, come to me. Come to me, all you who labor and overburdened, and I will give you rest. Come to me. There's a lot going on at this time that can deaden our spirits, you know? The pandemic, the fear of illness, the isolation, keeping your distance, not being able to touch, not being able to hug your loved ones, not being able to come together, washing your hands. There's much in life, you know, that can weary us and tire us. And yet, it is Jesus and our relationship with him that can give us energy, can keep us young, can keep us, you know, even in old age or old age, full of sap, he says, still green, to use the words of the psalm this morning. He comes to us as strength in our weakness today. He comes to us as life in our weariness on this Wednesday. He comes as hope in maybe our despondency. And what he asks of us is to welcome him coming to us today. And he'll come in very, very surprising ways today. Let's look out for him. Confident that God walks with us today, let us place our needs before him. Let's pray for all those who are weary and tired, all those who are despondent, all those who are lonely, afraid, and anxious today. Let us pray that they may recognize the God who walks with them in their weariness, in their worry, in their anxiety, that he comes to lift them up out of it. Lord, hear us. Let us pray for all those who care for the sick, the doctors and nurses and frontline workers. Let us pray that they may be blessed with wonderful compassion. They, they will all have gentle hands. Lord, hear us. Let us pray for all scientists and medical advisors, that they will lead us in the way of truth and safety, that they may keep us all safe. All those in government may make wise decisions, always seeking the common good, always speaking the truth and acting with justice. Lord, hear us. Let us pray for our dead, those who have gone before us, marked with a sign of faith, that they may enjoy the fullness of life in the kingdom of heaven. Lord, hear us. God, our Father, these are our prayers. There are many others we have in the silence of our hearts. We place them before you, knowing that you only give us the best, for we ask them all through Christ our Lord.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it would become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Friends, let us pray that our sacrifice today may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the sacrifice of our worship, Lord, be offered to you unceasingly, to complete what was begun in sacred mystery and powerfully accomplish for us your saving work through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just to duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ who is Lord. For he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh and so fulfilled the, de the design that you formed long ago and opened for us the way to eternal salvation, that when he comes again in glory and majesty, and all is at last made manifest that we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so with angels and archangels, with the hosts and powers of heaven, we pray the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which would be given up for you. When supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Saviour of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. We ask that, sharing the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of love, together with Francis, our Pope, know all our bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with the Apostles, St. Anne, and all the saints who pleased you down the ages, that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, 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 amen. And so we can Pray with complete confidence to the Father, using the words Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, 
Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, deliver us from everything that is evil. Grant peace in our day, that with the help of your mercy we may be free from sin, safe from every distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world of mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world of mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter onto my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed. this bread, drink this cup, come to me and never be hungry. Eat this bread, drink this cup, trust in me and you will not thirst. Eat this bread, drink this cup, Come to me and never be hungry. Eat this bread, drink this cup. Trust in me and you will not thirst. My Jesus, I believe that you're truly present in the most holy sacrament of the altar. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise, all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Let us pray. We implore your mercy, Lord, that this divine sustenance may cleanse us of our faults and prepare us for the coming feast through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you and keep you safe and protect you today, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. And have a good day, everyone, and keep safe. O oh, come, O oh, come, Emmanuel, and ransom captive Israel that mourns in lonely exile here until the Son of God appear. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to thee, O Israel. 
O come, thy rod of Jesse, free thine own from Satan's tyranny. From depths of hell thy people save, and give them victory o'er the grave. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to thee, O Israel.